Hi, and welcome to Low Carb Cocktails. No, that don't sound right. Welcome to Low Carb Tiki. That's right, my friends. Another Tiki cocktail coming at you. Delicious and low carb. This one's gonna be the Suffering Bastard. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. We'll go over the carb count as we get through this. So we'll try to make this as quick as we can. So the first thing you're gonna need is some cocktail shakers. Next is gonna be gin. Now we'll be using Searsucker Gin. It's a fairly new gin I've come across recently. Uh, they're out of Texas. I think it's San Antonio, I think. Uh, but it's really good. I grabbed this because uh, they're saying is a uh, southern style gin. And being here in the south, gotta try a southern style gin. It's actually really good. So we have gin. Next is gonna be brandy. Do one ounce of brandy. Now, I was gonna try a strawberry brandy that uh, that's made here in Baton Rouge uh, by Baton Rouge Distilling Company, make a really good brandy. Now, I uh, said so let's keep it original, as close to, uh, well, as close to original as we can, you know, make it low carb. So we got our gin, we have our brandy. The next thing we're gonna do is a half ounce of lime juice. Now, if you use bottled lime juice, it's gonna bring the carb count down to zero. Almost a half, can get one more. I used that one already for a previous video. So, and half ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. We'll put that in our shaker. Next, we're gonna add our ice. All right, we'll put the lime juice, brandy, gin together, shake that up, we're going to give it a good 10-15 seconds, usually closer to 15, uh, make sure we get that nice frost built on the outside of that tin. And I'm done. Now, I said earlier that this cocktail is low carb to begin with, there is one modification you have to make to keep it low carb, and that's the ginger beer. Diet ginger beer. By using a diet ginger beer, we'll have no carbs in the ginger beer. So the next we're gonna do is get yourself a tall glass, Collins glass, tall glass, something like that. And we're gonna dump set ingredients in. Next we're gonna do about four ounces, that's about what I have left, of ginger beer. Topping's okay, you know, you just wanna well, try to make it accurate as you can. So if you're making this multiple times, you're gonna have it as consistent as you can. We're gonna go ahead and measure out four ounces of ginger beer. And that is my four ounces of ginger beer. And I've tried a lot of them. Uh, there's one I haven't tried yet, I'm gonna get to, but so far, uh, Gosling's is an amazing ginger beer. Love it, it's nice and spicy. We'll pour that on top. I'm gonna garnish that with the mint spray. Go ahead and give you a mint to slap. That's gonna release some of the oils. And rinse the glass a little bit with the oils from the mint. Drop that in. And there you have it. Suffering Bastard. Pretty simple. Gin, lemon juice, brandy, ginger beer. That's it. Let's go see how this came out. Mm, let me try this first. Trying to incorporate that ginger beer through the whole thing. With all I really was tasting was ginger beer. Let's see how that comes out now. I'm gonna garnish it all the way. Ah, screw it. It's a garnish. Oh, that is so much better. Yes. Oh, uh, man. I had one earlier and I forgot to put the ginger beer in it. Uh, that was not a mistake, it was tasty. This is so much better. All right guys, so carb count on this really quick. The gin, zero grams of carbs. Brandy, zero grams of carbs. Diet ginger beer, zero grams of carbs. The lime juice, fresh lime juice is gonna have 2.5 grams of carbs per ounce. We're using a half ounce. Now you can make this a zero gram carb cocktail by using a bottle of lime juice, but it won't taste as good as this. Like I said, you're, you're like right around a half a gram of carbs for an awesome, delicious, 
tiki cocktail. Alright guys, make sure you click subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, watch my videos to the end, help me out with some watch time here guys, and uh, y'all have a great day, because I know I will. Mm. Delicious.